If you're a designer like myself, I'm pretty sure you've picked up a can or a bottle one day and just admired how it looks, right? So packaging sometimes can be tricky, especially for things like drinks, cans and bottles because there are some guidelines that need to be followed. So in this video, I'm going to dive down into my process of how I designed a can for Kunu, which is a popular drink in my country. We're also going to be using Pakdora to generate some 3D elements and mock-ups for the can. Before we dive right in, big shout out to the sponsors of this video, Pakdora. So Pakdora is an online packaging design tool that helps designers create 3D renders of their mock-ups and packaging designs. So you no longer need to design various templates in Photoshop. They have over 4,000 templates, which is I think is amazing. So Pagdora reached out and I tried their product and guys, I have to tell you, it's really, really nice. And we're going to be using it in this video. Also, please use the discount code EMMA, that's IMA, when you want to pay for your Pagdora subscription and you'll get 20% off and it's another way to support my channel. All right, guys, enough said. Let's get into the video. So this is a sample of the Kunu drink. It's kind of brownish or light brown in color. And it's mainly found in Nigeria, like we mentioned earlier. Although it mainly started from northern Nigeria, the northern part of the country. But thanks to independence and people traveling around, the drink has kind of spread across the entire nation. So I did some more research on Kunu and I found that it's also called Kunuzaki and it's usually made from millet or sogum and it contains a lot of fibers that helps in digestion. So I went on Pinterest and searched for some ideas to influence my design decisions and these were some of the mood boards I came up with. Also guys, did you see this coffee Pepsi version in real life? Cause I never got to see it but I saw it online. Let me know in the comments. So I came up with this simple logo and color palette for the branding and I also decided to make the label for this style of aluminum can so i'm going to download the die lines from pagdora then bring it into illustrator so we can start designing the label all right guys so i've downloaded the die lines and these are just set of guides to help me make sure my design fits on the can so the green outline is the bleed while the blue outline is the trim so from the trim downwards is going to be cut off while the red horizontal line is the crease where the can is going to bend at the top. So this is going to help me design properly. So first off, I'm just going to draw a box right now that will cover the entire bleed. So I'll just draw a box here, giving me a brown background. And I'm going to make sure everything is on a new layer on layer two while I lock down layer one with the guide. So nothing gets moved around mistakenly. Also quickly, I need to make sure I know where the crease is since my background is going to be on top. So I'll just create a duplicate um, box up and below just to guide me as I design. So I have my box back now and I'll just lock it down. And I have some assets already at the bottom, which I'll just drag in. So I'll drag in my logo and I'm, I'll drag in the bottom text, Kunuzaki. So if I zoom in, you can see there are some simple patterns. I just downloaded those on FreePick um, just to bring um, the idea I was trying to pass across with the brand. Kind of African and very deeply rooted in culture. So I'll just resize that properly. And next off, I'll just draw the label for the drink. I'll just make a simple box and type in millet drink. So mainly Kunuzaki connects to the millet version of Kunu. So I'll just use Josephine Sans, that's the sans serif font I used. And I'll just make sure that is aligned properly into the box. Next off, I'll duplicate my rectangle and just increase it slightly and change it to a stroke just to create a label. So next, I'll just make sure that this millet drink is aligned perfectly with the Kunu. I'm just observing to make sure I don't fall out of the bounds for the label. So I'll just add in the volume 400 ml and I'll just make some adjustments to the font, make sure it's properly aligned and make it bold as well. Next off, I'll put in a caption, best served chilled. Whoops, that should be double L E D. 
and i'll change it to a lighter version and just shrink it down and just make sure everything is properly aligned in place next off i'll add some patterns that will feature at the top and bottom of the design so just some simple african patterns so i'll just drag those in and make a duplicate for the bottom section and these are kind of looking a bit large so i'll just adjust my text and also select them and just shrink them down a little so now adjust them to the top and also for the bottom so these are kind of coming out of the bounds of the design so i'll just draw a box and just make a clipping mask to make sure they fit right in next off i've already designed some components here like the nutritional facts for kunu so i'm just going to put them in place and align them with the top of the logo and also some fun fact about kunu the fact that it's from nigeria from the northern region so i'll just align that fact there with the nutritional facts on the left and right so you can see how the design is coming into play but i felt the background was a bit bare so i decided to work on some patterns again and just place them into design but they were kind of too um, strong so i reduced the opacity to about 10 percent so you can blend it with the background so i'll just adjust it and move it into position also create a clipping mask for it so it doesn't come out of the trim boundaries and i'll just move it backward to just sit above the background alone i also just make some simple adjustments to design creating a background for the 400 ml so that it stands out from the pattern behind it all right so our design is ready we just need to add some registration details which is very essential for your cans so i'll just pull that in and align it at the bottom right of the design all right so our label is ready for production so we're going to just pull it into Pagdora to make some 3D mockups. All right, so we are on Pagdora.com and we'll just scroll down to can mockups and we'll select the can that we are working on right now, the aluminum can. And you can see it has this 3D interface. So I'll just click on upload image and click on add image. I'll just pull in the image we are working on. And you can see how it fits perfectly on the plane. So I'll just change the background to the background of our design. Just copy the hex code and paste it in so it matches exactly and i'll just click on save and you can see how that creates a nicely rendered 3d mockup so i can actually position this anyhow i like from any angle and i'll just click on super export so i can just get my design ready so i'm happy with this angle and i can export it as i can export the die line if i want but we already have the dial line, so let's go with the mock-up. So I can either do a fast resolution 4K or one that has all the renders and the lighting and the shadows. So let's just go with the fast version for now. So I'll just click on download. We can also play around with the background. So we can check out the gradient. We can give it a kind of gradient background. We can select any color we want. But not just gradients now. So we can also play around with colors. So we can decide to tweak the colors as well. So let's just give it the color of our background or maybe kind of a lighter version of the brown. So it matches uh, the bottle. So we can just click on export and we can even export it as a, as a video. And Pagda already has some set styles. So you can see it's going to create kind of a 3D animation. So I just clicked on download and it will just download into my laptop all right guys so let's see how the final design looks Thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to use the discount code emma that's ima when you are paying for your pagdora subscription and you will get 20 percent off and it's just another way for you to support me on my channel 
please don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment if you learned something and always stay creative bye bye